cases of eight handed down to Applegate from buccaneers who fought for years for gold doubloons and pieces of eight handed down in a pirate's chest the gold they sailed for east and west the treasure bright that made men fight till none were left to bury the chest so now the gold and pieces of eight all belong to Applegate the chest is here but wait now, where are those gold doubloons and pieces of eight, pieces of eight, pieces of eight? Today's episode in the mystery of the Applegate treasure, A Strange Confession. Perry Robinson, you get away from here. What's the matter? You got nervous indigestion or something? Jumped like a rabbit that was getting shot. You made me spoil everything, smarty. Maybe you got nervous disorders. You never shot a rabbit in your life. Ah, who cares? You're not even supposed to be here. I am, too. I know what happened. Today you have to go back to the city because nobody wants you around anymore. By tomorrow, I bet you're back from reform school. So there. I'm sorry. Why? You don't even know what you're talking about. I do so. The probation officer said... That was yesterday. Now they're gonna let me stay around till they find out what that guy Bowles says. Oh. Well, I am sorry. I just hope he confesses about the tools. That's all. The what? You know, the ones everybody said I took. That's what got me in trouble in the first place. If he says things that make you innocent, then you can stay in Bayport and go back to work for old apple juice, maybe. Wouldn't you? I don't know. Doesn't make any difference to me where I go. Me neither. Joe Hardy's already my boyfriend. Huh? But don't you dare tell him. Don't worry. Goodbye. I was there when they caught bulls last night. Did you know? Of course. Bet you were sure scared. Oh, is that so? Maybe I just lost my interest in mysteries is all. Must be tough being a girl sometimes. Maybe I don't even care what the Hardys are making Bowles confess. What they're making him squeal with third degrees and... Really? Is that what's going on? That's where they are right now. Well, why didn't you say so? Joe and Frank have got that guy Bowles singing like a... like a squirmy canary. I just don't say I did and I don't say I didn't. That does it. How long have we been here now? Well, you keep asking the same questions. Is there anything wrong with the same answers? We just got to know if you stole something. Look, now, I, I don't object to letting you practice your detective thing on me, laddie. It's not practice. Our client, uh, I mean, uh, a guy we know is in trouble because somebody made it look like he was a thief. The shame of us. And if somebody hadn't gone and messed up those handles, we'd have your fingerprints to prove it, too. No, 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 stop, boys. That, that, that's enough. You just ain't got them, and that's that. Perhaps I'd better say, haven't got them in front of the kids. Maybe you'd better work your memory a little harder. But I'd like to help the laddies. Now, honest, I would. Such fine, upstanding young gentlemen. They're, they're, they're a credit here. Truly, they are. A wee bit suspicious, maybe. <laughs> but I suppose with you for a father, that's, that's only natural. Shall we get back on the subject? And what is the subject, Mr. Hardy? You, and why you won't talk. Oh, but I've been talking a great deal. I, it's, it's almost embarrassing. Hey, excuse me, boys. I, I am truly sorry. Hey, you talk for a bit. Go on, go on. Say whatever you have a mind to. Last night you committed trespass and assault both. You're going to go to jail anyway. What difference does it make? I can't tell you things I know nothing about, can I? But what were you snooping around Applegate's for in the first place? Uh, that's just the one thing I don't seem to be able to tell you somehow. Don't you understand, Dad? He was looking for the treasure, but he didn't want anyone else interfering. Yeah. Only why'd he hang around the tower rooms? And why'd he come back to Bayport after so many years? What I mean is, how much does he really know about the Applegate treasure? Frank, don't you understand? The very fact that he won't talk means that those thousands of doubloons are still hidden somewhere. Thousands of what? Doubloons, 3,000 doubloons. 
Oh, no, 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 stop it, boys. Will you listen to how old Applegate's been making his treasure grow through the years? <laughs> Hey, what are doubloons? I've heard of oh, pieces of eight. cut it out. This town went crazy ten years ago looking for gold, and it's not gonna happen again, you hear me? All right, all right, I'm sorry. I agree with you, Sergeant. Uh, and me too. You know, I had to leave this town once. I was pestered so much. Old apple cider with this talk of gold that wasn't there. Oh, oh there's no laugh matter, boys. You see, the more he talked, the more people said I must have took it. Well, maybe you did. Hey, wait, whoa, now. Hold your horses. You know, you should have a real heart-to-heart -heart talk with them, Mr. Hardy. It'd be a crying shame for two such upstanding young lads to pine away in a foul prison under charges of slander and libel. You know I didn't do it, Mr. Hardy, don't you? Joe, I'm afraid your father proved that Bowles there just couldn't have stolen anything. Not the way Applegate claims his treasure was taken. Oh. Well, your partner could have... That Jenkins. Jenkins? I haven't laid eyes on him these last ten years. People said we were friends just because you lived in the same place only. But, Mr. Bowles... Uh, I'm afraid that's enough now, son. You boys have had your fun. We've got to haul him back downtown, Mr. Hardy. I understand. Come on, boys. Well, I don't understand. Golly, Daddy, he says everything except what we want to know. He won't help Perry or us a bit. Why? Why is he so afraid to tell the truth? Why won't he talk? Unless he's guilty of something awful. Something enormous. Oh, boys, boys, such a way to speak. All right, all right. It's not unusual for a man to keep his mouth shut until he's sure where he stands. There, you see. So, Sergeant, suppose you all wait for me outside. I'll call Applegate for you. OK. And if he and Jackley are ready to come down to the police station and file charges against Bowles here, I guess then he'll start talking fast enough. If he don't, then maybe he does know something big. <laughs> Detectives. <laughs> oh, yes, Mr. Hardy. I searched the place this morning, as you suggested, and... What? No, no, I didn't find anything. But I just thought you might have found something missing. You know, in the towel rooms or any place else the Bowles might have been. What difference does it make? I'm charging that man with trespass and... Mr. Applegate, trespassing is not a very big crime. Now, we can't scare him into talking and let... But if nothing is missing, how can I accuse him of stealing or anything worse? You want me, boss? Uh, sorry, I couldn't come when you started yelling. You talk to him, Jackley. You're the one that Bowles hit over the head? Well, yeah, but... That's assault. Hello? With a deadly weapon, maybe. Hello, Jackley. You feeling better now? Sure, but the bump on my head isn't. Mr. Hardy, all I feel is I want to finish my work and get out of this wacky place. Hmm? Oh, no offense, boss. Huh? <laughs> well, uh, you can bring charges against him without my saying anything, can't you? But it's circumstantial. You're the one who saw Bowles hit you. Well, I, I hate to get anybody in trouble. No, I'm not being soft-hearted. I hate to lie, too. To what? Well, even though I know it must have been Bowles that hit me on the head and tied me up, I... I racked my memory. And you know something, Mr. Hardy? I never actually seen it was him. Goodbye. It won't be long now, will it, boys? You'll be letting me free soon, don't you think? Letting you free? Well, what have I done? I ask you, with all the talk, has one bad thing been proven against me? Now, don't start that again. When Dad gets out of here... Oh, all right, all right. You just have to wait, I suppose. Sergeant. So now you'll expect me to fall down in a fit of confessing, I suppose. But let me tell you, I don't care what anybody charges me with. There's nothing that can make me... can make me... Oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Hardy, your face tells me that there's some little difficulty yet. Can either one of them help? I'm afraid we've all been wasting our time. Keep them locked up on your own charges, I guess. Well, soon I'll be riding one of those beauties out of town. Won't I know? Maybe. Freed for lack of evidence, maybe. 
You see now, boys, why I don't talk. When it comes to bad things, I just don't say I did them, and I don't say I didn't. Well, if those fingerprints on the shovel hadn't been so messed up, that would have made you... Boys, get in the car, will you? I'll be right with you. Sergeant, can I talk to you a minute? Hey, what about the footprints in the flower garden where all the digging was? What about them? Let's go back and get those shoes. You mean the ones he took off? They're the same ones he had on last night, aren't they? He made plaster casts of them, and they're the very same as the tracks in the flower bed. All right, get in the car. Hey, wait, now wait. Come on, boys. No, Dad. We gotta go back to his closet and get those. Hey, no, no, don't do that. What do you think I changed into my sneakers for if it wasn't to avoid such a thing? Such a thing as what? That's the horror of a plaster cast, of course. I should have thought you would have seen me trembling. Well, now, aren't you men all ashamed of yourselves? The only real detective among the lot of you. There he is. The only one who's able to force the confession out of me. A, 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 a confession about the digging, I mean. I don't understand. Sonny, you can leave those shoes lying in the closet where they are. They'll measure exactly the same as the footprints. Oh, I admit it. I, I, I know when I'm trapped. Here, lead me back to the jailhouse and for you, for you, Sonny, I'll sign a confession. Tomorrow's episode, A Golden Clue.